Hello and welcome to episode 37 of the Smash Ultimate Modding Workshop. In this episode, I'll be talking about maybe the most helpful debugging tool that you've got access to, the print line function. If you have any programming experience, you should know how helpful print line or document.log or printf or console.log or any of the print functions in any language ever are. They allow you to make sure that code runs, or let you know what the value of a certain variable is at a certain point in time, and so much more. I'll show off how to get PrintLine to work with SmashLine, as well as a pretty basic use of it. The first step is to get the IP address of your switch. You can go to Settings, Internet, and scroll down until you see IP address. Next, go into the command line you use to build your mod, and type cargo skyline set IP, and then type your IP address, and press enter. This tells Cargo Skyline what IP the switch is using. To actually see print lines, you can type Cargo Skyline Listen. But we don't actually need to do this right this minute, so hit Ctrl and C to exit that. Next, here's some code that I've written in a fighter frame for Rob. What it does is detect if Rob's percent has changed, whether by getting hit or healing or whatnot, and if it does, print the player number, what Rob's previous and now current damage is, where on the stage Rob is, and also how much he's charged gyro. Printline in Rust works a little different than in other languages, so to put arguments in the function, what you do is type the string you want, with every variable subbed out for open and closed curly braces, then put a comma-separated list of the arguments in order you want them to appear at the end. For example, this line will print as current position, colon, x pause, comma, y pause. Now let's build this, boot up Smash, and turn on Listen. As the game boots up, you're going to get a lot of text coming through the console. If the last thing you see is the game loading and unloading four random characters, you know that it worked right. This time we got Bowser Jr., Olimar, Greninja, and Duck Hunt. Now that we're in training and we hit the other Rob, He'll print from player 2 how much his damage has changed, his position, and that he hasn't charged gyro. If I charge gyro up, I then let him hit me. You'll see that I'm printing from player 1, all that info, and that I charged gyro. As usual, all this code will be available in item 1 of the description. I hope this helped, and happy modding!